Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. It's lovely to have you here, thank you so much for joining me. Um, coming to you from a an overcast and a very windy Lincolnshire in the UK today. So um, yeah, I'm still in Mum's Conservatory and it is, uh, although it's overcast and windy, it's very warm, so the wind is open. So you may hear the fence banging, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, there'll only be a couple of more videos actually recorded here. Um, before I'm recording back in my own craft room yay so I'm coming on today to do a little project um, those of you that have been with me a while hi nice to have you back guys um, will know that I'm a about to um, move move house and I am doing shorter videos at the moment just so that I can get a few ahead um, because you know I don't know when I'm going to be able to film again film again so I am going to start a project today and finish it tomorrow so those two videos will be done uh, ready and it is going to be um, an em a small envelope uh, notebook journal using some William Morris bits and some flower fairies so some of my favourite things and I know there's some of your favourite things so uh, let's just settle down and have a bit of fun shall we so I'm just going to shuffle my chair in which can be very noisy <laughs> sorry about that um, and get comfortable so what have we got with us we have got right let's have a look so there's a william morris kit by nanine at um collage type i'm not i'm not coming on to do that now i'm not sharing that now particularly with you it is a full junk journal kit and i will be doing it it is it's one of the journals that i've got planned as soon as i get into my uh, new room um but i've pulled a few um maybe yeah just a couple of pieces out of it to um to make this envelope um journal with so for, first of all let's start with the envelope so it's a beautiful navy blue envelope that um uh tanya sent me tanya who is tatty treasure who's always in my description um tatty treasure on etsy and tatty treasure on youtube um yeah and i've hoarded it a little bit because it's an absolutely beautiful um <laughs> beautiful envelope um but today is the day it's going to have its day today um so from and you've seen these before which are um william morris frames I think I've got another one somewhere I have from and these are from Nanine at Collage Type on Etsy again she'll be a, a link to Collage Type on Etsy will be in my description I've got some more envelopes here let's do things so from Tanya both from Tanya and both available in her shop which is Tati Treasures on Etsy um, yeah so I've just pulled all three out and thought you know what lovely combination let's do something with them so yeah, then I thought about the uh, the Morris frames, which obviously are going to decorate the envelopes. I say obviously, <laughs> it's obvious to me because I know what's happening. Um, but then I, I was like, what shall I put in the frame? So I've got those, I've got pictures of beautiful young women, um, ladies, I should say. Um, I've got pictures um, from Tanya of those, um, not quite sure what she calls them, but those handsome young men, suitors, I think she calls them suitors. Um, but I've used both of those and then I thought well while the flower fairies are you know living on my desk like they are why could I not put some flower fairies with um, William Morris <laughs> and put the two things together so yeah I, I had a dug through a dug through I had a dig through and I found the ones that I liked in the frame which was that one there oh he's gonna have a little bit of white I'm gonna have to do that one carefully and um, this one here no you can't really see him but I think it's that one yeah and I thought what cheeky little boys <laughs> so we're going to have like the boy fairies that is the one that I yeah it is the boy fairies in the frames on the Willie Morris you know that's just loveliness on loveliness isn't it <laughs> so um yeah I brought a couple more of the boy fairies over um just in case I wanted to put them on the pages or something um that I embellish when I embellish um, and from the kit, from Nanine's kit, I'm not showing you all the pages um, of the journal uh, because I know Tanya's going to be doing um, the journal at some point and I will also um, and they'll probably be very different journals with the same pages so it's always good to see more but this is just one of her, um, I think this was one of the portrait pages because Nanine always does journal pages and portrait pages in case you want to do a file fold and things like that so this was just um, a double sided it one of her William Morris um, portrait pages just to be the outside of page oh, well, front and the back I guess of the journal 
the rest of it inside is going to be um, six sheets one two three four five six of uh, the Amazon paper the, the Amazon sort of faux coffee dyed um, brown paper okay so that will you know it'd be a decent size notebook for an envelope it's going to want trimming down i'm pretty sure because it's exactly the same size as the envelope but i don't think we'll be getting to fill fill the journal until tomorrow because like i say i am just doing 30 minute videos and yeah i can waffle for england can't i so <laughs> i bet we're a good five minutes into this one now okay so you've seen the papers you've seen those beauties what else have i brought from the kit then um some pockets where's the pockets there's one. Oh yeah, the other one I got ready. So I just backed them onto paper as I do, printed them out single sided and backed them onto um, some paper for a bit of strength. There's one I've completely done. Um, I've just done two because I think just two pockets, front, one front and one back in this um, you know, notebook journal will be sufficient. I need to fold this one over. And then I have brought, or rather I've backed four squeak. Let's just get something to had it a second ago. What have I done with it? Oh, there's another one in here. They bone folder. Don't know where it is, but it can't be far. I am, uh, yeah, very packed up now. I've got very little um, out. I mean, there's a lot around me because all the backing is around me. But as regards finding anything, yeah, nearly impossible now. <laughs> so um, I will actually, as you as you'll see in this video, I will actually be in the throes of moving. So. Yay! <laughs> I hope I'm having a good time. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, I was thinking, yeah, so I just, I think I backed four of the tags to go in these two pockets. I mean, the papers are gorgeous, aren't they? Um, where are they? Well, there's two of them that I bagged, uh, tagged. I backed them. Gosh, I can't speak. Um, yeah, just with some scraps that I had lying around. That's, I've been doing that all week. And uh, yeah, it's amazing what you can what you can make with just what's on your desk. I really am shocked at how much stuff I have got in, you know, in this conservatory and in my sister's conservatory, um, and stuff packed away that's never been opened. So yeah, I I'm not moving into a mansion. It is only going to be a small bedroom that's going to be my craft room. Well, a medium medium size. It's not a box room, but it's not a big bedroom. Where's the other two? The other two are here which I have backed but not cut out and I've backed them onto some a lovely sheet of paper that Caroline Dream with Caroline on uh, YouTube sent me thank you Caroline gorgeous and it's it's on William Pride of Place on William Morris this one um, so yeah it's only a small bedroom and it is going to have a guest bed in it a small bed in it nothing nothing else I don't think you know well maybe a, a bedside cabinet but um, yeah it, it's my craft room first and foremost with with a spare bed so my goodness I mean the bed's not going in it uh, for a month or so so uh, yeah I'll have to be make sure that I leave space for it won't I um, so yeah I'm, qu I'm quite shocked at just how much I have got um, to go into that space so it's a bigger space than I had at my own house my own bungalow before I, I moved to my sister's. Now at my sister's I had a massive conservatory, um, but it had conservatory furniture in it as well. So yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to be a lot more, a lot more organized and, um, you know, have everything kind of set out how I want it and round me. Um, the thing with the conservatory is there's windows everywhere which are a pain as well. Beautiful and light, lovely to see out, but, uh, you know when it's frosty or when it's sunshiny you know they're freezing cold they're red hot <laughs> they're bright what have I done there that's the strangest cut I've ever seen that's better a glitch in my scissors or something yeah so gosh I've got a lot of stuff but that does mean in theory that I will be able to just get down to brass tacks as we say in the UK we'll be able to get down to brass tacks and yeah get lots and lots and lots of crafting done without having to go buy things source things yeah I've seen lots of videos where people call it shopping moustache I certainly will be 
uh, shopping my stash when we move right i need to get cracking and stop talking don't i so this was just one of the um, beautiful elements you've seen this before i love this rabbit on this william morris um that nanine's got um and just a label so these are from nanine's kit too i just thought they might be nice for embellishments i just not brought a lot there were some lovely tickets and you know if you know me you know i'm a, a sucker for a ticket i mean on these blue they all look beautiful don't they it all looks gorgeous on this blue love it well in my opinion um there's a huge clock in the um kit and then from the um tim holtz i'm ermine a lot sorry from the tim holtz uh, set that carol sent me i have pulled out um, a butterfly card with three butterflies on because I thought that went and just a, like a little luggage um, label now I don't know if I'm going to use all those but that's what I've brought to decorate with and nothing else I have got things just here in the corner but I don't want to pull anything else out so um, what's my plan so first of all before I seal this envelope what I want to do is I want to kind of find the middle so that I can uh, just strengthen it a little bit on the inside now it is, it is a very um good quality envelope yeah so it's not thin and weedy it's nice and strong uh, yeah i've got the middle there but i just thought if i just stuck an extra piece of you know paper on the inside it would just give it that little bit of extra strength for the glue page um sewing so the signature into okay which again i think is I'm hoping to get this cover made today fairly quickly and um, I'll just leave that there for now and then sew the signature in and embellish it tomorrow so like I did uh, last week when I did a journal in a day yeah if I was doing an hour video this would be another journal in a day but I'm not doing an hour video well if I am <laughs> the journal won't be finished it'll just be that I've I've gossiped 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 too much chatted okay so i want that sticking down but i want a bit more than that sticking down so let's get the glue the glue going um i'm not going to open the sides of this i am just going to use it as the cover itself um but i'm going to put those two envelopes on as uh, flips so I may have to open the side to do that and then close them up again, but I'm not opening it and leaving it open for um, journal cards or anything like that. You're coming out to play today, Glue. I know you're nearly empty, but you're not empty. Come on. Let's play. Okay, so yeah, I am. I have to say I'm actually quite tired <laughs> from all the packing and mentally tired from thinking about all the things that I've got to do. Um, or have been doing uh, some things still still to do but you know in relation to phone calls or you know organizing all sorts of things I think I said to you before insurance and internet and uh, you know the utilities and things like that there's a there's a myriad of, of things to think about well, I put a mark on that I'm covering it um, yeah we better make you the front then so let's have a look at what we're going to do and then we can decide because I think this one is just a little bit too big so I was thinking about having that one on the back just to open out to put things in the thing is it's going to be on show you know what's in it's going to be on show so maybe it needs to be on the inside I don't dislike that on the back actually you know on show quite lovely vellum isn't it and um, is it too big there I don't think it is you know that could go on the back like that wouldn't that be good hmm so that might have saved me a job there so where's a little blue one here it is so this one then would go in here well maybe that one won't have to may not have to go in either I mean they're going to be on show around the edge aren't they yeah that's something else I need to think about as well because I haven't thought about the you know the closing don't know how um, thick it's going to be by the time I've got the papers in where's the frame sorry the brain just stopped working then 
No, I do. I think I want that one tucked in. So let's just open the side here ever so slightly for this this one. Sorry about the the clunking there. Yeah, so here. Take a slither off. I just wanted it to be really square. Is that enough to open it? Yeah. So I will be able to yeah pop that in there and then glue the. What's stopping you? The thing is, that's where I've glued it closed, isn't it? It doesn't need to be right down at the bottom, I suppose, does it? No, it's fine there. So I'm going to, yeah, so I'm thinking about it as, as I'm doing it and squash that down a little bit more. I'm going to put uh, the cover on, the cover, the frame. No, I'm not because somebody's stolen it. Hmm. Too much out already. It was on here, wasn't it? Oh, it's there. Look, it was hidden. It was uh, because it, it was on paper similar to it, or you know, quite wild, <laughs> wildly patterned. I couldn't find where he was then. Okay, so we can only just get his hands in, but we can get his hands in. And we get feet as well. No. Something about the, <laughs> gonna think I'm strange now. Something about these flower fairies' feet. They're just so tiny and sweet and cute. Oh, now then. We could get one shoe in. Let me just get my pencil and just roughly mark where I want to cut it down. Obviously that's not on square, so I need to do it squarer than that. Um, and I think the only way to do it square is putting it on here. So about there. Yeah, obviously it can go in. I just don't want it further out than those marks. Can't even see where I've marked it there. Maybe I can... Maybe I can stick it on and trim it off, if you know what I mean. Is it the other way up? My house, my other way. From the top. Yeah, let me just take a bit more off because I want to be under that. Inside that. Inside that, that might help. <laughs> You're used to me, aren't you? In the bizarre way that I measure things. At least his wings have stayed in. Let's get rid of some rubbish. And those big scissors take up half the room on this little teeny tiny table. Yeah, I just think it'd be easier to stick him on there before we stick the whole thing to the um, envelope front. I don't need any of that. Yeah, by the time I've put these on here and got the envelope together, I'm sure our half an hour will be up. Yeah, I think what I need to do is... Um, I mean, it's going to stick fairly quickly, this, but I want it to, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to get it in the right place fairly, fairly smart. It's not quite as quick as the Art Glitter, this Cosmic Shimmer, but still fairly quick setting so if I put plenty on it might give us a bit more of a chance try and get his fingers in oh, yeah okay I've stuck it all over the table where's the cloth oh I've just thrown it on the floor there we go Beautiful flower fairy on the back, always the way. Um, it's gone sideways a little bit. Will you move? Or are you set? Oh, it will move. Obviously, the key is putting plenty on. I need to trim that. I mean, you can barely see that it's sticking out because it just um, blends in, doesn't it? To the. Oops. 
to the William Morris frame. Yeah, I did ink round the frame and the inside of the frame before I came on just to, to save you that a little bit. Right, so this is going on that way, so it wants to be on there. Yeah, I like that you can see that blue, just a small amount of blue round it. Lovely. Oh, and it worked well, that glue, so pleased. You can maybe hear the birds, they are. It is afternoon, that's why I said good afternoon to you. I know you all watch at different times. Um, yeah, I think the birds are getting to their afternoon singing chorus. It's funny how you can tell the difference when you listen to them every day, all day, every day. You can near enough tell um, the time. Yeah, I've got glue on me already. That's going to be lovely with a word across the bottom there. Um, but I, I want a certain word, so I'm going to have to have a think about that. Might be added at a later date. All right, so you are going in there, not too low. Yep, that's the fence banging, and I've got to make sure that it's straight. Why, why are you not looking straight when I put you in? Because I put you on the chopper. Is it that I haven't put the picture on straight? I'm going to put him down and hope for the best because it's supposed to be a quick make and I am dragging my heels. <laughs> well, it is afternoon after all, isn't it? I have been out for a walk this morning as well as done some packing. I'm trying, not far, not a long walk, but I am trying to work on my, uh, my stamina, you know, because while I was waiting for my operation all that time, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't exercise at all, or very little. You know, and you, you, you lose your stamina. Oops. So it's not just uh, my leg, which I have to say is loads better now. But uh, yeah, I've got to build up being fit and healthy again as well. Okay, I really like him in there with the blue. Really like him. So let's do the front the same. Again, I've already inked around that, so these cheeky boys make me laugh, they really do. The rush grass and the cotton grass fairies. I don't know if it's just this, <laughs> the hair or the, the, the expression on his face, but yes, they really, really make me laugh. And it just, just fits. I'm gonna lose your finger, right? Well, never mind. Um. Yeah, so I can take a fair bit off. Let's see if that helps. So I need to be inside those. But I can go inside a fair bit, can't I? Because I didn't, have, I didn't have an awful lot at the top spare, I don't think, did I? Let's see if that's disappeared behind it. It has. Yeah. Okay, let's get that down then. So then I need to think about that beautiful vellum envelope for the back. Now I could do the easy thing and just not put it on, but I love it so much it goes with all the other blues that I'm thinking, yeah, don't take the easy option, put it on because it's going to really add something. Yeah, so I think I've decided haven't I, that I want it on the inside. Is there a right way up? There you go, you cheeky chaps. I stuck you to my table. Yeah, there's already some glue on there, so if I a little bit showing there. I was going to say if I stick it straight down, but I really need to, to ink it again. It's sticky though on the back. <laughs> Love it, but I will admire it in a moment when I've got it stuck down. Ooh. Yeah, so um, I don't know if you've been with me 
um, and commenting, I know there's a lot of you that are with me regularly, you will maybe remember that I said when I did that last giveaway that I was going to do a secret one next time and just pick a, a video um, and pull, pull names out of people who actually commented on that video so that it's not a you know a call for subbies or anything like that it is an actual thank you to the people that watch my videos regularly um, and the only way I can know that is if you talk to me and know there are people out there because I get so many views that are watching regularly but not talking that's fine you don't have to I understand but there's no way of me knowing knowing who you are and being able to put you in a drawer to thank you but if you've been commenting I've picked two videos out I've already done it the names are here I will be it will be up maybe tomorrow okay lots of lots of names um, so yeah I picked two videos can't remember which two there were now but there were last week sometime one about the tags and the ephemera I think yep uh, maybe I did three there might have been three there yeah so I've pulled your names out so if you commented on every video I've put I've put your name in twice or three times I can't remember yeah I think it was three um, I've got glue on the back of that again. Right, that's going to have to have some William Morris paper on there now. That's solved that one, hasn't it? Um, because I liked that on it, didn't I? I'm sure I'll put it that way. So yeah, your names are there already, and um, I'm going to I'm just going to uh, pull your name out of a, a hat. I'll just do it in a video on its own tomorrow. And um, if you would like it, it's going to be this flowers of the fairy winter so it's just a little thank you but some lovely little pictures some of the flower fairies by um, Cecily Mary Barker if you'd like that book all you need to do is, is get your address to me um, and you know if you if you subscribe you'll know regular that I say regularly all the ways to contact me is in the description now that covers that up till you do that maybe I can embellish so I just stick that I quite like it showing that. I wonder if I can um, put that down with some art glitter just around the edges. Let's try. Oh, no, there's a blob we didn't want already. Oh, don't close on me. It's just, I mean, the art glitter dries clear, but you still can see it. I've got it I think because I want it to open obviously oops is that here yeah so where you see it white now you will still see it but you'll see it as a clear line and then if I hate it when it dries I'll just cover it looks a bit bigger at the bottom there but I think I might be out of oh, it's all right yeah if I hate seeing the line when it dries I'll just cover it with some William Morris paper it looks like the back's going to have to be as well we'll give it a chance and see um yeah so that i think that's it for today we'll come back tomorrow and we will um put all these in and embellish it put these papers in and um, i am going to have to trim them down a little bit but yeah it's going to be a nice little booklet with all those in there and we'll embellish it and we'll make a couple of cards for those two envelopes okay so if you've enjoyed it Give me a thumbs up chat to me in the comments because you never know when i will be doing um, another one of these yeah if you if you know you regularly um comment on my channel chances are your name is here um you know and if you win it and you've won other things please claim it because you know you're here all the time watching me don't feel that you ought to give somebody else a chance everybody who watches regularly is in with a chance because they're here okay if you've just uh, joined me and subscribed to me i will be doing this you know a few times through the year now so you will get your chance but thank you anyway so yeah wish me luck i hope i've moved in well <laughs> and um yeah the rest of this video will be up tomorrow have a lovely day guys bye bye